So when we're introducing our stock type horse to the idea of the shoulder in, we're likely going to see less bend because most of our stock type horses are a little less flexible through their rib cage. We tend to see riders over bending in the neck when that's the case, but we don't want to do that. We're just going to see less bend. And we notice Bunny here has a tendency to brace a little bit as we go into that shoulder in. When there's a brace through the top line, I'm simply going to push forward the outside rein to allow that to soften. If we've done a good enough job of educating our horse to the softening through the inside rein, releasing the outside will allow her to soften to the inside. And then we take the outside rein back to stabilize the body. Eventually, your horse will be much softer and much more confident with this idea, and you'll feel that that inside rein is doing less and less as you go. The idea of the shoulder in is that it helps to strengthen the inside hind leg, helps to prepare the horse more for the idea of collection. Right here, she got a little distracted by the mares in the field across the way. I just say, hey, let's focus on this circle again. I ask for one more step on the circle before carrying my hip down the rail. Again, we see a little brace. I release, and you can watch when I release, she softens the top line down into that contact, softening to the inside rein. A common question that I get from riders is, what do I do when I'm riding a shoulder in or asking my horse for a shoulder in, and they struggle? or they get upset, or they stop in their movement completely. That sounds to me like maybe we're overriding when we do that. <clears throat> we want this to be basically a soft introduction for our horse. You'll see my outside rein with her constantly playing. The idea of contact with the outside rein isn't something we should just assume. It's something that our horse will earn by proving relaxation through the top line. There, she softens to the outside rein. I can ask for a little more effort. There. Good. Had a girl. Again, our stock type horses tend to be a little less flexible through the rib cage, so you're not going to feel as big of a movement or as big of a body change as you might in your warm blood or your, your more sporty hunter type horses. Starting first from the circle, preparing the horse on the circle, making sure that my inside leg stays here at the girth, slightly behind, my outside leg coming slightly behind that. Good. Releasing and requesting the contact. There, when I take the contact of the outside rein, she stayed steady and soft through the back, so I can maintain that contact. I think about releasing when there's a brace through the spine and holding steady when there's a softness. My whip comes to the inside so that I can support, if necessary, asking with that hind leg. We can get fairly quickly, if we introduce it this way, to the point of simply riding one-handed with our reins, supporting with the whip here, but don't allow yourself to get all twisted around when that happens. Our position is really important, thinking about helping to keep our horse in line. If we think about straightness down the track, my body's lined up. If we think about a shoulder in, I want to be angled slightly to the inside. Again, as though I'm prepared to start a circle. It's from here that my hip will help to carry my horse down the track, while my shoulders stay in alignment and her shoulders stay in alignment. The outside rein, as we progress and as the horse's confidence progresses, the outside rein can encourage more for more engagement of the hind leg. The inside rein becomes less and less necessary, always thinking first that it's just to help show them the way and to help keep the body relaxed. 
If she were to brace through the jaw, if she were to come upside down in the neck, I'd be pushing the outside rein forward and vibrating some on the inside to help encourage a softness through the top line again. And a girl. So I hope this is helpful to you if you've got your stock horse or maybe you've got a horse that's generally bracy in the shoulder in. These ideas hopefully will help you out quite a bit with that. Thanks so much gang. Somebody's excited about this project. <laughs>